Welcome to our few minutes together on the Parsha. This week, of course, is the reading of Parsha's Toldos. It's a Shabbos Mevorchem Es HaChodesh. And in our shul, it's also a very special Shabbos because it is the Shabbos in which we have our Kalbach Friday night and we invite everyone. We've had an extremely troubling week this week. Maybe not more troubling than other weeks in terms of terrorist attacks against our brethren in Eretz Israel, But there's no question that this particular terrorist attack against Jews who were davening in shul and were communicating with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And as so many people have said to me, Rebbe, Rabbi, isn't it so that when you're davening there's a measure of protection And how could such a thing have happened? And of course, who says we have the answers to these questions? We cry and we mourn and we we pray that these things don't happen. But perhaps there are some words in the Sedja that will give us a little insight into what our response should be. When Yitzchak is about to go down out of the land of Israel, Hashem tells him, don't leave the land, stay in the land. And if he tells him to stay in the land, he says, dwell in this land, and I will be with you, and I will bless you. Because to you and to your seed, I will give all of these lands. And I will fulfill and upstand my promise, my swear. That I swore to Avram your father. I will make your seed multiplied like the stars in the heaven, which doesn't only mean in terms of number, but also in terms of being able to navigate when the skies are dark. And once again, he repeats, I will give to your seed all of these lands. And through your seed shall be blessed all the nations of the land. Akev, and all of this because or in exchange for, Asher Shama Avraham Bekoli, that Avraham listened to my voice, Vayishmar Mishmarti, and he guarded my watch, Mitzvosai, my commandments, Chukosai, my statutes, Vesorosai, and my Torahs. And Rashi comments that when it says, Vayishmar Mishmarti, it meant that Avraham even kept the Darabbanan laws, as the Gemara in Yuma on Chavches says that Avram was Mekayim Kola Torah Kula. In addition, he kept the mitzvos, And Rashi says the mitzvos refer to those laws that even if the Torah wouldn't have written them, like murder and stealing, man might have evolved in his mind to develop such a law. And then it says Chukosai. Chukosai, Rashi says, are Dvarim Sheyetzer Hara. Things which the inclination that is bad and the nations of the world, they answer them and they say there's no purpose in them because ain't tam bedover. There's no taste and no reason behind them. And then the Soro say, he kept my laws, my commandments, all the Torah Shebiksav and Torah Sheba Alpeh. What's interesting is that interspersed in all of these things that Avram kept, were the chukim, the things that even though his genius, Avram's genius, was so in tune with the spirituality of Hashem, nevertheless, there are some things that he didn't understand. But it did not deter him, and it didn't keep him away from what he knew to be the truth of the world. We are faced with a very difficult situation. We cannot fathom or understand. Nevertheless, 
This is no different than all the other situations in the pantheon of horrors that has been perpetrated against the Jewish people. How did we survive the Holocaust? How did we survive the recent death of three innocent young boys? How do we survive the constant, since the state of Israel has been founded, the constant pogrom-like atmosphere that the nations of the world have perpetrated against the Jewish people? And yet, we do not lose our faith. We do not give up. We know that this promise, Vakimosi es HaShavua, and I will fulfill the promise that I swore to Avram, your father, and I will give you lizaracha a skolar ratzosa'el. That prophecy is going to come true. We suffer. We're in pain. It hurts. But we know that in the end, the promise of Hashem will be fulfilled. If you could ask any of the souls that were so brutally taken from this world in this recent attack, should we give up? And they'd say, no. Do exactly what people did, they went to Davin in that shul the very next morning. Let's join together to see the fulfillment of the promise made to Avraham Avinu, because he did not despair and he did not give up, and neither do we. Let's hope that the new month brings us better times. Have a good chance.